if you haven't known, my Fiverr account has banned and blocked for two years. Our trust and safety team has enough evidence, evidence, which I was like, whoa, I was not expecting. <laughs> wow, does that mean that I don't have a lot of footage? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nancy Tigris, and if you've already been here before, then welcome back. Guys, I am so excited about this video because I'm a little up and down about this, so just make sure guys that you I don't even know what I'm saying anymore guys Make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification and give this video a like and if you haven't seen my fiber stole my money video Make sure you watch that right now whichever press pause watch the other one or watch this one and then watch the other one up to you But I will link it down below or up here. Is it up here? No, I think it's up here I'll get it right at one point. So whoa my emails going insane guys if you haven't known it's actually one of the most popular video on here. It actually has, I think it's about at 12K views now, which, wow. I remember <laughs> like making this video being like, ah, I want my fiber back and I'm just gonna make a video and I'm, I hope it goes like, it gets a lot of views, which I already imagined it was gonna get a lot of views, but like I'm seeing it now and I'm like, wow. I still don't have my fiber, if you're wondering. Okay, let me give you a little update, okay? So I remember making the fiber video thinking, wow, I just wish they would give me my account back. Like, it's insane that they would just ban my account like that with no reason and not even like explaining to me or letting me like have a chance. It was like, no, you're banned, it's done. There's no reason like you're not, you're never gonna get your account back. I also remember people telling me they, they still saw me on Fiverr, which I was like, wait, what? Like now you probably will see me if you do, is because I think I made another account. P.S. I made another account and I purchased stuff on it, which it went well, which I was surprised. But I also was thinking of maybe like making more gigs. Recently, someone on my Fiverr video, because I always get views on that, like ever since I posted, like it was two years ago, I still get views now. Like it, my views goes up and up on that video. The comments, like it's like a popular video and I'm so happy about it because I'm like, wow, I did lose money on that site, but I'm also like helping my channel grow through that video. Video. in a way it's good I was on Fiverr for about two years the more that I was there the more that I was make, making a better income I was getting I was selling better gigs I was doing better and better and to a point where I was like wow this site is really cool and I decided to share it to a friend and that's when it turned sour and I lost my account <laughs> Go check the video and see for yourself. I mean, I explain it kind of, you know, whatever. I explain it better. Uh, and you actually see like the emails that Fiverr sent me and you see like what I responded and how it happened. And it was pretty insane. And they didn't give me a valid reason. They weren't explaining. And I was like, I gave up. I was like, I'm gonna make a, a video out of it. I'm gonna spread it everywhere. And uh, I'm doing it again now because there was an actual update. Something happened. And I still want everyone to know about Fiverr because I see so many YouTubers doing fiber thing fiber thing and every time I see it I'm like oh they stole money from me and like they closed my account for no reason and then I see like all these youtubers buying on Fiverr and talking about Fiverr and I'm like stop like in a way I'm like okay fine like it does like it did and whatever but like you know and they did get their gigs and whatever like everything went fine they didn't get scammed but it's just the fact that I got scammed so it kind of like Ugh, ugh. Makes me like hate this site. I love it, but I hate it. It's a love-hate situation I just wish they would give my account back like dude just give it back No, I can make another one But it's like at the same time. I do have to like grow it back, but it's like ugh. So recently I'm gonna tell you this I'm gonna start from where it started this update someone wrote on my first video Fiverr stole my money I had like six hundred dollars pending and they said they can send at, um, and they said they can send my money available for withdrawal within the next 90 days after my account was closed I have been waiting for a while and will hopefully receive my money by December 11th 2018 I will update on that date so I wrote let me know what happens Maybe I should try again. Even if it's been years, still my money, lol. And he said, that's a week ago. Fiverr let me get my money. However, some of my orders re were, were refunded. And I was like, wow, lucky you, I should try, which I did. So if you haven't known, my Fiverr account has banned and blocked for two years. 
and I have tried after they blocked me after they banned me I have tried after and months after and I think even a year after to get my money no success and I I, I probably have proof I could find it sit tight sit tight guys so I wrote to them the 15th of December hello I am writing back to see if I can get my money back that was in my account since my account is blocked please verify and come back to me my account had a few hundred dollars in it from accepted and delivered gigs so to my memory I had a few hundred dollars okay to my memory which I'm not saying maybe I was right maybe I was wrong maybe they're wrong I don't know what happened all I know is I know in my head that I had a few hundred dollars okay I thought it was over 200 two or three and even if my video which I just got banned I say that like I have a few hundred dollars so I don't know what happened did they take a percentage did they refund it did they just I don't know they responded back which I was like whoa I was not expecting you know them to be just out of the blue just like oh yeah I am going to let you withdraw your account you have 24 hours to withdraw your account before we block it again i went crazy i opened my laptop i started like going in and like i finished i'm like wow i need to do this fast before like they change their mind or they actually do it and be like ha huh, 24 hours done you know which is so crazy because i as soon as I withdrew my account, I took the money, like as soon as like after I closed my tabs and everything and I tried to go back, I was I was out. I couldn't back I couldn't go back in. So while I was there, I started filming and taking some screenshots of like the money earned, the money I had, and like the messages I got, and I was like, wow, they let me, which is so weird because I remember a long time ago, like I think it was last year, they asked me like I needed to send them like my permit, I needed to send them a bunch of stuff, and if I can find it, I will put them right here. I will put everything here to show you like they were asking me like a bunch of stuff and I'm like whoa like calm down you know like so weird I felt it's so weird I didn't do it but then I was like if they do it I will send it because I need to like get this I need to do this I wanted to delete gigs I wanted to like delete my account if ever if they ever if ever they didn't let me get back in which I was like why is my like why am I blocked can I delete gigs can I like why can I join back like I was asking questions and they were pretty much sending me again like the the kind of oh and as soon like I said I got the email saying your account is disabled it's blocked whatever and then I started writing to them like so my withdrawal was successful they let me withdraw my money so now it's in my PayPal which I'm so happy about why can not I delete gigs and they were like well your account is disabled or whatever so you can't do anything and they're like why would you want to do that well I'm like first of all why is my like why would I go in there and I see all my gigs I see all my reviews I see all my things it's like almost like my thing was active I even saw that people were sending me message that I didn't even get a chance to read I couldn't email them I couldn't write them back and be like oh I got blocked or whatever it was like I couldn't email people back I uh, could read it but that's it and I was like wait am I still like active like are you leaving me active where people can actually order stuff like can people see me because I'm like I want my account to be delete it if you're not gonna let me back in you need to delete it so you know like it's just weird that people get to like see that if ever I don't even know so I was gonna ask but I really wanted to get my account back so this is what happened hope you are doing well you may log in and withdraw your revenues within the 24 hours using this link shabam got access then I was like will I ever be able to have my account back which to they said unfortunately no <laughs> as there was a direct violation of the terms of services which I was like which terms of services I read them I didn't do anything wrong like you need to explain please explain to what are you referring with the following statement why can I delete gigs and I was like well duh why can't I delete gigs like I'm on I'm not there like how do I have to explain this so I say can you please explain what the violation was to which they say as mentioned before by my colleague on our trust and safety teams uh, has reviewed your account and permanently disabled as it identify activity from this account that it sounds outside of the norm we are not in, uh, able to reinstate the account due to violation of the terms and services and they put a link to like me so I can click on it we gave access to withdraw your available funds but as we mentioned before your account will not be eligible to reinstate being reinstated this account will remain disabled read the terms and services because I'm like maybe I misread something I don't know what did I do but I know I didn't do anything wrong I was there for two years I was like you know and I wrote I still don't know what the violation was you're, you're still not telling me what it was you're just telling me I violated something I violated a term of service you need to tell me what it was and I said I've done everything right I've been on the site for years and once I referred someone to your site because I finally like loved it and trusted it which I thought the site would be happy about I got banned and I said thank you for the access to the withdrawal because of course I got my money which is fine 
finally after two years. Again, repeated as per the terms of services to prevent any minus of our feedback system. All feedback must, all feedback reviews must come from legitimate sales executed exclusive, exclusively through the Fiverr platform from users within our community. Purchases a strain determined to artificially enchant sellers rating or to abuse the Fiverr platform with purchases from additional account will result in a permanent suspension suspension or related account to which I said but nothing of that sort was done because it wasn't all of the sales that I've done were legit and on the site which is totally true they were all done on the site they were all legitimate it was all someone paid for something or I paid for something or someone paid me for something there was nothing off the site there was nothing that was done illegitimately there was no it was legitimate sales from legitimate buyers from legitimate sailors from legitimate I do not get to which they respond unfortunately our trust and safety team has enough evidence evidence that the violations of our guidance occurred for this reason this account cannot be restored thank you for understanding to which I said what evidence what evidence guys what tell me so I wrote did what I never did anything against the policy every sale I did was from legitimate buyers because it's true if someone buys something I mean it's someone bought I gave the sale that's legitimate to me like do I need to prove I also said I read the terms I didn't break any I'm still waiting on the reason why I'm blocked your account has been permanently disabled for violations of the terms of services we addressed that to you when the account was disabled two years ago this account will not be restored as informed already thank you I'm still waiting for that freaking reason and that freaking evidence because right now you are not giving me any evidence and you are not giving me any reason I do not have a reason I do not have evidence and you keep just telling me that I broke the terms and services without telling you what I did if you tell me that I broke the terms of services because I did an illegitimate sale then prove to me that it was illegitimate because other than that you made money off the sale that I sold or the purchase that I did why for the first time that I bought something on Fiverr or that I bring someone on Fiverr all of a sudden I'm doing something not okay yet your profile your your freaking website it says everything about refer someone and get five dollars blah 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 like why would you do that promote something that you're gonna give five dollars to someone if they promote and I did it after two years because I finally trusted you am I now doing illegitimate if it's illegitimate to share and get your friends on Fiverr then why are you doing it if it's to, against your terms and services to get your friends on Fiverr, then why are you promoting people? And why are you telling people that they're gonna get $5 off of every referral? Because that's exactly what happened. I referred someone and all of a sudden I was against the terms of services. So what evidence? You tell me. You've addressed it without actually saying what it is. Without giving me the real reason since there really isn't any, is what I wrote. And uh, I don't think I need to tell you that they haven't written back to me. All they keep saying is I broke the terms and services and every time I ask them for the real reason, like what it was exactly and like the legitimate and if you say you have evidence, then show me the evidence because right now you don't have any reason to have blocked or banned me. Thank you for the money. Thank you for giving me my sales. Although I find it a little sketchy that I remember having more than that. But you know, and why all of a sudden, why after two years you let me go on and get my money? Like what's going on? Is my video like scaring you a little bit? Uh, a lot of people are probably making videos about it. A lot of people it happened There's probably like reviews all over the internet about <laughs> Fiverr doing this and as you may have noticed on my first Fiverr video You will see there's a lot of comments about how they did the same thing same thing to them They stole money from other people not just me So hopefully right now guys if you've been on my first video and they took your money Maybe you should do a refresh and try again because they just gave me my money So make sure you try also that I I am very happy about because like I said it was my money I earned it through gigs so thank goodness for that but I do find it sketchy that I remember double that all I'm saying you know two years later I've got like less money in my account mm. anyways and the thing is I know there's other people that got banned and they luckily got their account back why aren't they giving it back to me why are they like oh you know you're okay you know because you have such a huge following let's just give it back to you but me it's like no screw you you know like because <laughs> I know for a fact that I've seen videos where it's like I got banned from and then they're back on it you know they make a video and whatever maybe one day they'll be like okay we'll just give it back to you and I'll be like I don't care anymore about Fiverr like I've got my own life going on I've got my YouTube growing and I like <laughs>
So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know about this little update. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and give this video a like. Comment down below if you've seen my first video and if you got, if you ever heard of this fiber thing. If you've been on, if you've been scammed, write in the comments down below, guys, and write if you've been scammed, try it again, and then tell, let me know what happened, okay? I want to know, like, give me updates, guys, because I do read all your comments about, I do read all your comments. <laughs> so just be careful, guys, with the fiber site, because you never know. <laughs> Pisses me off, you know? <laughs> what? Shush. And I hope to see you for my next video. Bye for now.